Hey everyone, Mike with MJ Skill Modeling here, um, back with another video. In the last video, we did the history of the SD KFC 234-1. Today, we're going to start the build on that vehicle. So, um, if you enjoyed the history of that vehicle, um, I am building a diorama here right now. That is going to take a lot of kits, and I'm building them in quick succession. So, I am going to be doing a lot of history videos coming up. And the most recent one we did is the SD KFC 251-1 House for Run B, which was a pretty fun pretty fun model to be researching. I'm still researching it. So if you enjoyed the history video, stay tuned. That one's going to be hitting hopefully pretty soon. But right now, let's focus on the 234-1 and get this model built. And then we'll start painting it in another following episode. And we'll just go until she's done. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and do it. If anybody is curious about that tool that I'm using, that is a Citadel. Um, it's a tool that's used for getting rid of seam lines and flashing and stuff like that and it works pretty good and i got that off amazon i mean for a little tool it's pretty pricey i mean it's not outrageous but it's a little more than most people want to spend but it works pretty good and there are people in my club that use different types of tools which i probably will try just because they're unique but the citadel works really well it's essentially just a curved piece of metal that's flat and blunt on the top and kind of sharp on the edges and you just kind of just rub it along the seam lines and the flashing it just scrapes it off so if you're interested in trying that out they do sell them on amazon they're pretty easily available so um yeah check it out i don't know what everyone's uh thoughts are on modeling cement but i have always preferred the tamaya extra thin cement I know there's a lot of different brands out there and there's thicker stuff and there's stuff in tubes, but I've always preferred, um, at least as an adult, the Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. When I was a kid, I'd get the cheap tester stuff in tubes and stuff like that and it would always be stringy and goopy. And um, when I first started scale modeling again as an adult, I bought a tube of that stuff and I didn't use it. I went straight to the Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. It just flows into tight spots really good. Um, leave a comment and tell me what you guys think about your uh, preferences when it comes to modeling cement. Here we are building our KWK38, and if anybody's curious what the KWK stands for, it stands for Kampfwagen Kanone, which means Fighting Vehicle Cannon. So if you're ever building a model and you're wondering what KWK stands for, now you know. So here's something that drives me nuts. So when you have a model that has to have kind of metal screening or anything like that, they always give you just enough to get it right the first time. And if you don't get it right the first time, you are SOL. So a while back, my dad was replacing his back door on his house and uh, he was gonna throw out a big chunk of screen door. And I was like, hey, I'll take it off your hand. And I actually cut it up into little pieces and um, I use that now mostly for all my mesh wiring, whatever stuff on uh, armored vehicles. And it seems to work pretty good. So if any of you guys ever replace a, an old screen door or window screen or anything like that, keep it because it comes in real handy when you're scale modeling.
I know this video wasn't as exciting as the history video, but uh, don't be dismayed. We have a bunch of other history videos coming up soon. Uh, we even have an American vehicle history video coming up, so stay tuned for that. And we'll get this baby painted, and we'll see you in the next video, guys.